Okay, so we're here with Kitty from the show Let's Talk About Pat. And I'm about to ask her a few questions about her style and how fabulous those toes are. Let's get a closer look. Hi, Kitty. How Hi, are you? Love. Wonderful. How you feel? Great, great. Good, so good. we're here oh, with Runway seat. News. And I just want to ask you a couple of questions about your style, the toes, the infamous toes, and the show. Let's talk a little bit about, let's talk about Pam. Hi. So tell me about the show. How exciting are, is it that you wrapped up this first season and we're looking forward to season two. Tell us a, bit, a little bit about that. I mean the excitement, the adrenaline rush is definitely there, especially tonight. You right. know what I mean? It's very, very, um, it's cathartic to feel like all of this you've not done for naught. Yeah. You know what I mean? It yeah. all has a greater purpose and it's all an attempt to grow and be the best person you can be. So it feels amazing to finally be done, but to have people be appreciative of it. And it's crazy because I was like having withdrawal from my girls. And I didn't even realize it until I right. got here. And we can't stop like kicking and <laughs> touching all over each other and talking crazy. Right. Like, yo, these are my girls for real. Like, right. I miss them. And I didn't even realize it until I got here. I so, felt like the audience tonight was really excited about seeing the outcome of your relationship with, with Mark Juan and Pep's relationship with Tom. So, okay, tell the truth. What's the real deal on Mark Juan? Do we love him? Do we hate him? What do we love? What do we hate? First what of all, it's reality. Right. So it's unfortunate that other shows have kind of um, diluted that a little bit and not given the full aspect. We are definitely a directed show, but we're not a scripted show. Right. Everything you see is real. I really did talk to a guy for three years, fall in love with him, and have him break my heart on TV. Oh my God. I really do dig Mark Juan to death. That is my dude. Like, he's my dude. I don't know how to right. explain it. He's definitely a... Um, He's a mainstay because he does what he's supposed to do. You know what I mean? But whether or not we are like exclusive, that's not the case right now. And I don't know. I don't know if it will be. I can't foretell the future. I mean, God willing, we'll be back next season and you can see. But he's a good friend to me. He holds me down. And that's good to know. You know, I'm coming from Cali. Right. To know that I can call on somebody here in New York, right. male or female, and have them come to me and hold me down. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. It's definitely my security plan. Do you feel like the show is a bit uh, therapeutic for you girls? Without question. Without yeah. question. Because I think the best part of the show is the fact that despite whatever we go through as women with men, we're always the same people with each other. Because, right. this, you know, I hate to say it because I do believe in love and marriage and the whole holy sanctity of that. But marriages don't always last. Right. And at the end of the day, even when the marriage is over, your girlfriend is right there. Exactly. She was there at the wedding. She was before the wedding. Right. She's there after it to make sure she picks up the pieces with you. Absolutely. Like, that's your bitch. Right. You know what I mean? And I, I, you gotta love that. You know what I mean? Even Jumana, with her little kiki, blonde moment, <laughs> I would take Jumana over a nigga any day. Well, every girl has a blonde moment, I believe. Yeah, Jumana has a lot of them, though. We both know that. Well, let me tell you something. You don't have a blonde moment with your style because your outfit is sitting. <laughs> Tonight, you definitely represent it, and I don't think the girls knew, I there was a girl in the audience tonight that was like, oh my God, she's like a size one. You're amazingly small, and you're beautiful. Tell us a little bit about your style. Black is slamming. <laughs> we all know that, because my stylist, slash G-Hub, I think gay husband, yes. slash guy, yeah. slash assistant, yeah. Amazing, and he made all of this happen today at the very last minute. Big up, big up top. I'm feeling a little gaga. I'm yes, feeling so a little Grace I'm Jones. A rock star, baby. You are a rock you know star. I, mean? I have to bring it to the table the way that it is meant to be brought. Absolutely. That's all it is. I oh. gotta do what it's done. But let me just say this. Yes. I am grateful for the compliment. Thank you. Absolutely. But I like to rock out, so I'm very <laughs> grateful that he knew. You know what I mean? What to bring together to make. He knew your feeling. Felicia Fields. Is it Felicia? Uh. What's her name? <laughs> We should always know about being a lady, being fly, and being real. Well, as I'm sure many people know, they like to, um, I'm such a fucking lady, right? Hey! You know, he knows. Anyway, I know that I can be very classy. The good 
good news about me is, and whether people accept it or not, I am well-rounded. If I were a guy, I would be a renaissance guy. Like, yes. Please don't get it twisted. I'm very intelligent. Yes. Smart girl, intuitive, nurturing. It ain't too bad to look at either. <laughs> See? Hello. Right, you ain't going to kick me out of bed, but Okay. So with all that being said, I know I bring craziness to the table, but that's pretty much like who I am. I gotta live. I gotta do me. But the, the counterpart of that, or the balance of that, is that I'm a great mother, and that I love my friends fiercely, and that I will fight to the end for people that I know would fight for me. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And that I know that I read, and that I enjoy life, and I go to ex, you know exhibits, yes. I, and dance theater of Harlem. Like life is good if you take in a little bit at a time. This is not a dress rehearsal, people. This is all we get. Right. So I'm grateful to be in the midst of it, doing it as I do it. I'm really hoping that second season does come to fruition. Because seeing these ladies tonight, I can't even front. <laughs> like, you can see it. I'm genuinely so I know, happy, it's right? It's exciting. Because I haven't seen them. And it's crazy. And I Jack. feel like it's about time. Yeah, yeah. And you hear Jack. Everybody keep their inside voice. Because she the main motherfucker. Right. Oh, my God, you guys. And did you see that one? <laughs> watch this part. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Like, it's so cute. It's adorable. So, yeah, you got to love that. Thank you so much, Kitty. We appreciate you. Runway News loves you. Definitely. And we're going to be talking about you for a long time. Because hopefully, prayerfully, yes. I'll be around for a long time. Oh, absolutely, That's darling. Well, you heard it here first from Kitty from Runway News. I'm Nicole. And you've seen it all here with Let's Talk About Pep, the wrap-up session. I'm Nicole. Thank you so much. Bye.